Hi, I'm Dave, and in this quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to record the screen of your Mac. It's really easy, and you don't need any special software. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Let me show you the easiest one. You simply press Command, Shift, and 5 on your keyboard. And you notice that that brings us up this little dialog box here, and we've got three options here to capture images of the screen. We can capture the entire screen, a selected window, or we can capture a selected portion of the screen. And the next two options are to do with recording movies. And again, we can record the entire screen, or we can record a selected portion of it. The Options menu gives us access to additional features and settings. We can choose where we're going to save our recorded movie. Uh, we can have a timer, if we like, that counts us down into the movie. If we want to record sound, we can select a microphone or a sound source here. And also, you might want to select the Show Mouse Clicks option, particularly if you're creating a training video. What this does is highlights the mouse clicks on the screen so the user can more easily see what you're doing. So having selected all those options, we'll just record the entire screen. And as soon as we press record, we are now recording. And you'll notice up in the top right of the screen near our menu bar, we've got this icon here. But let's just record a quick video. We'll open up the Safari web browser. We'll go to a news page. Let's click on something. Let's move the window around a bit. There we go, we've finished our video. Now we simply go up to the top here and press the stop icon. And you'll see that we get a thumbnail appear in the bottom right of the screen. We could drag that thumbnail straight onto a finder window, or we can press it, which will take us into an editor. Or if we just wait a few seconds, it'll appear here on our desktop. And it's as simple as that. Please let me know in the comments if you found this helpful, or if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in a future edition of Quick Tips, and I'll see you next time for some more geekery.